if you know me, you will be able to predict just how excited I am to film today's video because not only are we watching Lizzo's Hot Ones episode and reacting to it, but I'm going to be eating some vegan wings of my own. These are the Field Roast Vegan Buffalo Wings. I have actually never tried these before. They're technically called Fruffalo Wings. I think like Field Roast Buffalo Wings. So I just made these. I've never tried a field roast chicken type product before. I've only ever tried their sausages and these look good. I did already try this sauce. I get a little nervous sometimes with buffalo sauces because they don't actually taste like buffalo sauce. This, my mouth is just like, I keep swallowing because I'm just like salivating nonstop. But this sauce tastes exactly how I would make my buffalo sauce, which just tastes like Frank's Red Hot mixed with butter. And I also made a vegan ranch, which is just vegan mayo, garlic, dill, salt, pepper, a little water. Let's try these. They were very crispy. I cooked, cooked them in the oven. They were very crispy, but with the sauce on them, they got a little uh, soggy, it feels like. But I'm gonna dip in my ranch and let's try it. Mmm, hmm. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. The inside looks and tastes a little bit sausagey. It definitely looks like a field roast sausage, kind of, and kind of tastes like it, but I'm not gonna lie. It's really good. The breading is really good. The sauce is amazing. I'm pretty happy with it. So I am going to continue eating these and we're going to watch Lizzo's Hot Ones episode. You're probably familiar with Hot Ones if you're watching this. If you're not, it's a YouTube interview show in which they interview celebrity guests and they eat wings. There's like 10 wings, I think, and it goes from least spicy to most spicy. There's like different hot sauces for each ones. The mild ones are like very mild, probably kind of like these, and then the hot ones, the spiciest ones are like off the charts, like one to two million Scovilles. So I love hot ones. I think it's such an amazing format. It's so refreshing. It's so different from other celebrity interview formats where it all feels very like, PR and staged and like kind of rehearsed answers. First of all, the host of Hot Ones is amazing. Sean Evans, he asks really good questions. He's so good with how he engages with the guests. And the format being that they're eating these incredibly spicy wings, it totally disarms them and it puts them in a place where they're just kind of being more like themselves, you feel like, rather than how they are when they're just like doing poised PR like interviews. The thing I don't like about the show is that they eat wings and it's pretty upsetting as a vegan to watch people consuming five to 10 chickens wings. But when they have vegan guests, they do, obviously they do vegan wings. Actually, the first time I ever saw Hot Ones was because Natalie Portman was on it. So I watched that episode and that was my introduction to the show and I really loved it. And they've also had Billie Eilish, I think Thomas Middleditch did vegan wings. And then of course Lizzo, we know, is going to do vegan wings. And what I really like is that, and we'll see if this happens this time, but every episode I've seen where the guest is eating the vegan wings, the host, Sean, also eats the vegan wings. And I think there's something very sweet about that. He's a really good host to do that, make the guest feel comfortable, like matching whatever they're doing. Also in general, I love Lizzo's role as a vegan influencer, sort of like an incidental or accidental vegan influencer. She has tens of millions of followers across her social platforms. She posts a ton about vegan food. She is sort of opposite of what I think a lot of people think of when they think of vegans or vegan influencers. A lot of people think of vegans or vegan influencers being thin and white and Lizzo is neither of those things. And so I just think she's a great representation for the diversity, not only racial diversity, but also body diversity that exists within the vegan movement that isn't always represented. So with that being said, let's get started. I guess I'm ready to eat more of my fruffalo wings. Uh, it's like when the air hit my tongue, it hurt. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today we're joined by Lizzo. She's a three-time Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter, and I wouldn't be surprised if she adds a few more of those trophies to the mantle with her latest project. It smells good. <laughs> it smells really good. It's fragrant. I'm enjoying these so much. I think that I definitely recommend these. I would get them again. Holy shit, they're good. <clears throat> Shit. All right, let's get it. 
And then you'll start at the other side. I start here or here? There, there, there. Bitch, you almost had me start at the motherfucking No, no, end? I was, I was on it. I was I on it. I touched it. I, well, yeah, be careful I touched with that. it. Okay, <laughs> this is the first. I actually wanted to start the album with like a moodier, like I had this like beautiful song I wrote. I don't even keep up with Lizzo's music. I haven't heard her new album. I'm sure it's really good. I just don't really keep up with new music as much as I could, maybe should, or used to. Guys, I'm gonna need a refill on these soon. I know I just said it, but I need to say it again. Watching this show, because normally I'm watching this show and not eating wings of my own, and I'm like jealous, although not jealous because usually they're eating chicken wings, but if I'm watching a vegan one, usually I'm like, oh my God, I want that so badly. Eating it while she's eating, like I have no jealousy because I'm experiencing it myself. Just couldn't be happier. That wing was good, I ate the whole thing. I saw that, are you ready to move on here to the next one, Adobo Loco Island Wing Sauce? Oh, it's island? Yeah, yeah. What island is it from? A little tropical vibe over here, Hawaii. It's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, real good. Like, I really can't figure out what she's eating because it's kind of like stringy, like real chicken, but like, I know it's not real chicken. I'm thinking it might be the daring chicken nuggets which I really don't like, but they do have that kind of like stringy, I think it is the daring because they also have like a weird shape to them, I think. I might be like the greatest of all time. This is nothing. You know, there's something in the air right now. It feels historic, mm -hmm. you know? Never fails on hot ones that after the first two, the person gets really, really cocky and is like, oh my God, like <laughs> this is hard. People think this is hard. This is not hard at all happens every time without fail and then by the end they're like crying and swearing and like wishing they hadn't said talked shit earlier so we'll see we'll see how she does what would you say is unique or distinguishable about minneapolis's underground hip-hop scene because it had kind of a mythical place for me growing up listening to like atmosphere and wow. brother ali and idea and abilities wow holy shit yeah like um there is an ink. This is what I mean. He, Sean is so good at asking questions and celebrities are always so impressed with the questions that he asks. Actually guys, I need a refill. Be right back. Okay, we're back. We're back. These ones have just been like bathing in the sauce at the bottom of the bowl. So we're expecting these to be really good. I'm actually getting a little bit hot. I mean, it actually is hot today and I'm wearing a, a sweatshirt, but could be these two. And I went and like, there's so many incredible rock and music clubs there. So many incredible bands, rappers, performers, singers. Really good vegan food in Minneapolis too. Sorry, I had to say it. Are you ready to move on here to this next wing? You're doing so good. Yeah, this is like literally, I'm sleeping right now. Oh. It's just, I got scared for a second, but now I'm good. Oh, crushing it, just crushing these vegan I'm looking nuggets. at you and your motherfucking eyes. Okay, so that's the first time he's acknowledged that the that the nuggets are vegan. He said, just crushing these vegan nuggets. Because sometimes he's, they start out in the intro with being like, we're eating vegan wings this time. They didn't mention it this time, or if they did, they cut it. But that is a confirmation that she's indeed eating vegan nuggets. That's some lumpy. Okay, no, I got it. <laughs> With that in mind, what we want to do is show you some iconic looks from the past. We'll pull them up over here on the monitor. I'm American chocolate. I look like a snack. There's a chocolate drop on my head, too. <sighs> we good. The editors can tell when the guest starts to feel the heat and they'll start editing in these kind of like almost horror movie sound effects, of like boosh, like douche, like these like ominous sound effects and so they just did one of those which is funny yeah i wanted to be classic and um i i was i look beautiful i just yeah i love the confidence it makes me sad i, I wish more women were that positive with their self-talk especially about their looks especially looking at past photos it's heartwarming to see just another way that she's a great role model you thought i was gonna fall no you no i was gonna fall off. i you never, I was gonna never, DJ never. Shit. <laughs> they didn't want me to win I, I don't know what happened with dj khaled i don't i don't know what happened with dj khaled i don't think i've watched his hot ones interview but i i guess he quit <laughs> that's what i'm guessing when i was young right I used to have these ideas and I would write songs and stuff and I would think of things and then like months and, or like a year later, I would hear that song that I had the idea for on the radio or I would see things and I'd be like, damn. Mm. Like I felt very like, 
I got the same ideas that the people who are putting out the ideas got and uh wow this is so interesting this has nothing to do with veganism or really Lizzo but if you guys have read the book called Big Magic and I'm not saying Elizabeth Gilbert came up with this concept, but Big Magic is all about creativity and just like how humans engage with creativity. It's so amazing if you if you are creative or if you have any creative desires or instincts, which I believe all humans do. It's such an incredible book, but she talks about creativity as this concept that it's almost like this ethereal thing that you can't see that will just fly around and it will just fl fly into your head and that's when you get an idea and basically you either agree to sign a contract an unwritten unspoken contract with creativity that like i'm gonna work with you i'm gonna try to get this out or you don't and if you don't it will fly out of your head and go and find someone else and that's why a lot of times you'll have an idea and then you won't act on it and then you'll see that someone else did the idea like the creativity it just flew and found a different host that was willing to work with it and um, that's exactly what she's describing so I just think it's a really cool concept and I truly believe in it are we doing any more wise shots uh, maybe can I take my shoes off? Go, go. Because <laughs> for some, I just, I can't really take. Just go ahead. I can't take it no more. Make yourself at home oh, over here. Fuck. Who the fuck is Tearfing? <laughs> We're about to find out. This thought that's called Tearfing's Curse. Really, it sounds like something from Dungeons and Dragons or something How like far that. Forward are we? What tools in your life as an entertainer do you think have served you best as the CEO of a shapewear brand like Yeti? I did not know that Lizzo had a shapewear wear line. If she's wearing clothes from her line, which I think she is, I like them. How They're you very cute. So far? I feel great. I feel good as hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was cute, right? <laughs> da bomb. This one seems to fuck everyone. Like, to almost to the point where I want to try it. Because this one, the Scovilles aren't even that high compared to what they like what they get to, but this one, this one screws everyone over. Look at me, I'm the captain now. Yeah, you are. Oh, there we go. I'm the fucking captain now. Wait, what did she just? I'm captain now. She just dipped her wing in something. Was that a milkshake? It looks like, cause normally they give them milk. So I'm guessing for her, they gave her some type of plant milk, but she just dipped it. And I was like, is that a milkshake? <sighs> oh, no, I can't go to that. No, no, I can't go, go to that. Here we go with the editing. I just dipped a bomb in there. Jesus, Jesus, There's Jesus. There's nowhere to run. Jesus, over Jesus, here. Jesus. So I know that you've been on the hunt for the best plantain sandwich in the entire world. Where are we at on that journey? Like, Sorry. have you found the one yet? Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. She just threw something, but they added in this, like, like throwing sound effect. Go ahead. Tear oh the place up. I feel like my ancestors was talking to me for a second. <laughs> my titty hurt. <laughs> my titty. An unusual reaction. I'm sorry, I'm gonna answer the question. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a really good one, that black freaking vegan. Really good one. Black brick and vegan, she says in New York. I'd like to check it out. I feel like it was seasoned. It was juicy. <sighs> had vegan cheese on it. Damn, that was fucked I up. I know. I no, know. I'm serious. What the fuck? <laughs> you know what you did. I do, I do. You know what? And this is always a show, you I took feel like. two bites. And that was on you, though. <sighs> so I feel like this you're my is, brother. This is Spider-Man meme, kind you're of. You're my brother, you know? yeah, yeah, right? And you're my sister, Lizzo. Aw. That they all start getting pissed at him. Like, it's like, it's like they're like, fuck you, which I get that. I get that um, feeling when I'm working out sometimes. I get really mad at the instructor. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Grinding! <laughs> what are the intangible qualities that distinguish a good backup dancer from a great backup dancer? I think that a great backup dancer... A great backup dancer can support me energetically on stage. I think a great backup dancer... That's all I got. I don't got anything else. What the fuck What's is that? that? What the fuck is that? We're coming in. We've got oat milk, oat milk ice cream. We got vegan got ice cream. Butter. That must have taste feel, taste and feel really good. Last dab. Last dab. Gordon Ramsay, he cool. He cool guy. He's the fucking best. All right, that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> We're going in. Going in. 
bottle with the ice cream. <laughs> She's chasing with the ice cream. Love it. Lizzo, we've made it. We've conquered the wings of death today. If we've learned anything along the way, wings of life. It is time to put the crown on Queen Lizzo's head, taking on the wings of death and living to tell the tale. This is the hottest fucking sauce I've ever had in my entire fucking life. We did it. I couldn't believe how hard it was to focus on the questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, can I was tell like, that. Yeah. I was like, uh, I wanted to answer so bad. Oh shit, this shit hot. <laughs> oh wow. Amazing. I mean, how does one not love Lizzo? How? how? It's it's very, very, very difficult. I would imagine to not like this person who is so. Uh, just so positive, so uplifting, so confident, so warm, so fucking funny. Um, a vegan, I mean, an amazing musical artist. That was super fun, both watching and eating the wings of my own. I ate almost the entire bag, there's two left, which I will potentially most likely eat after this. Um, really enjoyed these field roast wings. Like I said, they're, they're a little more sausagey than chickeny, but I didn't even mind it. Combined with the coating and the sauce, they were really delicious. Uh, Lizzo's Hot Ones episode was great as expected. It was really entertaining, really funny. Everything we want from Hot Ones. And it's safe for vegans to watch because no animals were harmed or exploited in the filming of it. Thanks for checking out this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more of my content and I'll see you again soon. Bye.